This is Carnivoron, and this video is basically food for thought, and will probably be controversial. There have been recent videos, one of which by Laura Spath, talking about the trends and attacks on people who aren't carnivore enough. Five years ago, I was on Facebook and was continually attacked by members of the cult of the grass-fed ribeye because I ate chicken. In their view, a carnivore could only eat beef, and it had to be grass-fed and gra grass-finished. Then Dr. Ken Berry helped to end some of this attitude by saying a carnivore could eat even processed meat, which of course was better than eating plants and a sugar-based diet. I come to carnivore influencers for encouragement and a sense of community. And my concern now is that religion has become a divisive issue. I don't listen to carnivore influencers for religious direction and religious instruction. The one influencer I'm thinking of has even proclaimed that he was right, in more than implying that his religious views are the correct ones and that everyone else is wrong. I think he has no idea how many people he may turn from carnivore because of his mindset. I have an example from my personal life. When my father-in-law was ill with pancreatic cancer, a national cancer organization sponsored a fundraiser support get-together for cancer victims and their families at the stadium of our local university. They sponsored a cancer run for children and adults. And at one time in the proceedings, the head of the local organization spoke to all the assembled families. He began to tell us to convert to his particular denomination of Christianity. I was sitting beside my father-in-law while my wife gripped my arm, whispering in my ear to not jump up and tell the guy to shut up. The point is that what he was saying and doing was grossly inappropriate to the time, to the place, and the reason we were there. The, his religious speech was recorded and sent to the national organization. The national organization received so many complaints, they fired him. And he was a member of the same denomination as the carnivore influencer I am thinking of. I think it is inappropriate to use people's illness and quest for knowledge to spread your own religion. I think we are here to help others with our own experience eating carnivore and how carnivore has benefited us. And just as I left those Facebook groups five years ago, I have unsubscribed from this carnivore influencer. He's been on live chats with others, including Dr. Anthony Chafee. He has thousands of subscribers and people on his chats that agree with him, and he will continue to say what he wants about religion, and that's his channel. I'm sure I'll be vilified and hated because I view him as someone who divides and not someone who unites. I'll probably be viewed as the divisive person. Leave a comment. What are your experiences with influencers? And if you disagree with me, please tell me why. I want to know. Thank you.